you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I just colored the plants. You know, they are transitioning, going into winter. Just wanted to make a video to show you what's going on in the garden this morning. Just watered the side garden. I did the back a while ago. And this is a new crepe model I put. The ground, looking good. This one last year when I planted the bear. Everything was so big and lush. And everything is looking good. I had the hydrangeas there as well. We were in a container and they were just getting too big and too run bunches. So I removed them. Air. This is a standard hydrangea actually, one of them that I made, it's a limelight, so this one is here, I have another one a little lower, you know, this is the best time to plant flowers this day, so I've got some new plants that I put in the ground, yellow one there, put in This is another standard hydrangea, one of them that I on my own, and it's big, so by next year it should be doing pretty good. complain about this flow bed. I think it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I uh, Hi, Bruno. Look at the bike. Uh, it's so good. And it's always a tree in that blue container. You know, big it got.
Your daughter's looking pretty lush, pretty cool. Mexican Petunia has taken over. I can't even see the Queen of the Garden, but she's in here. I need to prune them down. <laughs> Love this time to find all your parents plants and put them in the ground the best time to plant is right now you have to transplant something this is the best time so i've been doing a lot of that and so next year everything will come up fresh you know i know it's beginning to get cool and you're really thinking you don't want to do any planting but this is actually the best time to plant stuff so if you catch them on parents buy them, put them in the ground, and give the, the roots a chance to catch up to, you know, and by next year you should have some good woody plants, and everything come up fresh before they go to sleep, put them in the ground, don't overwinter them in the container, put them in the ground, what you're going to plant in containers permanently, you do that, but the ones that, you know, you want in the ground put them in the ground now you have you can do it right now or you can do it all next month you can do it as well you know you have a good two, two months left to plant stuff to get the roots set, settled to the new environment I should have bought more. I only bought one. I should have bought more. Look how beautiful this is. It's coral. You know I love this. This is what I love this. This one did not say this is free. Like the rose that I took out. On the back, in the boxes. I was getting too many disease. I couldn't keep up with them. So... After a while, I'm like, I'm, I have a garden not to be stressed behind plants. So anything that's going to stress me out, i rather just remove it and get something that I really love. So I remove the free roses in the back that keep getting black spots. I just remove them and put something else in there. But I don't want to be stressed in my garden. I want to be relaxed. I'm gardening. 
something I love doing and the plants are stressing me out, I'm going to remove them. So that's what I did. So roses, I got them, I was I think they were $11. They served the purpose, but then they got black spots and I couldn't control it. Thirty dollars. I'm gonna remove them. Put something else in there. I will give more And that's what I did. Found this one. It's a knockout rose. It did not say this is resistant, but so far it's looking good. So hopefully they put and they're good. This one right here, it did say disease resistant, so it shouldn't get much black spots or anything. And the flowers, the petals are very fragrant, and I love that, so I bought it. Got nice fragrant flowers. I got two of them, so I have one there and one on the other side. Cause I love roses. I just, I just love them. I don't know, I don't know why. I just love them. And I got another one back there. Please, I see getting some black spots. And I'm trying to hold on because I don't want to get rid of it. Three of them that are giving me a little bit of issues, and I'm trying to hold on because I love, I love the yellow. I'm addicted to yellow in the garden. Yellow and purple is my new favorite color in the garden. So, I'm going to try to overwinter this in the house. So, I've been treating it, make sure I don't have no bugs on there. And then I'll put it in because it's not a perennial. Everything else is, but this one isn't. Anything that's not a perennial, I'll try to overwinter them in the house. I don't have a greenhouse. My garage is pretty hot, so I can't put anything else in there. I need to clean it so I can put some of my plants there. I bought some plastic, like greenhouse plastic at the at Walmart. So what I may do is try to make my husband fix something for me so I can close in the balcony during the winter time and put some of the plants that are not perennials in there and see if I can use that like a greenhouse during the winter. And Try to put the plants there, give them a chance. But if not, they're just gonna have to tough it out out here. Of all these plants, gonna put them under the balcony with a winter there. But we shall see. This is one of my standard hydrangeas that I made. I pinched the top so it's branching out. So. It's beautiful. The other one already has covered in the See the guava tree? It's in the dirt so I hope it can still survive for the winter. It's a new plant that I bought at Lowe's. Rosa Sharon It's supposed to be I gotta put it in the ground It's beautiful They were like $4 I got two of them This is only two plants Looking so lush Bye-bye.
Hydrangeas and the hydrangeas that, that I did. Look at that. Turn them into a tree. So Truck them inside the house. This is what I've been trying to work on. I'm not done, but got a pinky winky standard hydrangea. I'm trying to do a tree into right here. It's doing good. It's pinky winky. I want to make a big tree out of it. And then I found this crepe mother. So beautiful. It's got a pink and red. Oh no, I want that for like seven dollars. So I found one on the side garden that you saw a minute ago. And I'll put this one in the back. In the very back where it is. Plant it right there with the pinky leaf in front of it. And then I got some um it's, um, it's lime like but it's the, the smaller one. Some little lime hydrangea. But this one did not take, so I, I don't think this one is allowed to take this one. But this one took. And it's got some. What is that? Anchor Azalea? That's the Anchor Azalea on the side. So one of the little lime hydrangeas did not take, but one did. So hopefully, maybe next year I'll put another small one there. And the pink green in the middle with a tree, the crepe metal in the back, and because we get pretty tall as well. So this spot will be covered. I got some sedums under there that I put there. I don't know if it's gonna take because I pruned the sedums I had, so I just put the extra ones under there. Hopefully, it my Japanese maple right there. And this is the other fragrant rose that I found here. the hydrangeas that I took out from the side garden that I was telling you about. Yeah, I pruned them. They're coming back. But this hydrangea grow on old wood. And it got so big and so rambunctious. And if it don't get water, the leaves like Don't get water, it's 
one of theirs were, but they get so huge. But if it don't get water, then the, the, the leaves start shrinking and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in the dirt because I think they, they require more water because of the container. So I'm going to put them in the dirt and I'm going to put them in the shade because they don't like heat. So I'm going to find a shady spot and put them in the dirt and see how they do. And if they do better in the, in the dirt, won't require much water because I think I'm going to put one in them under that vitex tree in the corner because they don't get no sun back there. It's basically just shade. And maybe I will give the other one to someone. Yeah, I'll give one to my friend. But it have to be in the shade because I don't really need to because I had I had both of them back there and they get so huge. It was just and I had to water it every day, every single day because if it don't get water for one day in that container, it looks beautiful. This is my olive tree. This needs to be overwintered as well. Put it under there when my husband picks that thing for me. He picks it for me. He will. So, and look at my Boxes, I will plant the two rows of Sharon in the middle so it has some interest back there. It's a heavy stuff. It's pink. It's not pink, it's purple. You've you, you seen the trend? I have purple all over. But it's mostly the, uh, the salvia and the Mexican cocoon. That's purple. But I, I love purple. Purple and yellow. I don't like too much red. I already have a red bench, so I figure I don't need too much more red. I have the anchor, Zelia. 
the two right now on the pedestal. That's, that's good. It's a red band show. That's good. This plant, I did not get a tag on it, but I planted right there by the bench. It's gonna get good. We can push out some red flowers as well. This is new. Just found it on clearance, so I put it in the ground. It's in the ground, so it's it too. And we push out some red flowers. So the red flower right there. The purple is Next year when this flower bed come into its own, it's gonna be breathtaking. And oh, that's what I think. I need to get her to get the head is out of there. Just break a little stem out of it, push it into this, and it will come up. Most easy thing to grow. you out <laughs> like my roses did if they stress you out just remove them I mostly buy stuff on Clarence so I don't normally spend a lot of money I don't try to pay big high school price for plants you know, because they are plants and if you don't like them you gotta remove them so I try to put pay Clarence for my plants so if you don't out, I won't be bummed out. You know? So. Most of my plants, 95% of my plants are clarins. Like back here, on the side or in the front garden. I don't get to class. The rules are not trellis. I already went to bed. I turned it. All the so I don't want to do different and I loved it better because if you remember the red rose that I showed you, it's beautiful. So I think this one on this side, I'll move it somewhere else, and I'm, I'm making some new ones out of that. I cut cut pieces from it and I transplanted it. See if I can show you. I tried to do one 
Next year, it's all about next year. Right now, everything is just getting ready for next year. So this year I need to team, I need to get up on the ladder. Pick a few of these lines. Anyway, thanks for walking with me again. I'll see you guys next time.